My fellow eggheads, this is Liz, I'm a certified repair technician. Today we're going to be discussing what to do if any laptop won't turn on, freezes, or turns on and off. First thing I would do is unplug my computer and take my battery out. Right now we're going to do a procedure that will show us if it's the battery or the power cord that is causing this error. And if you, now I'll just demonstrate if you do not have a external battery, you're going to need to look up a disassembly uh, you're going to need to look up a disassembly video and you're going to need to go inside your computer and unplug it like you see I'm about to do. See, just went ahead and unplugged the uh, internal battery without touching the motherboard and now I'm going to go proceed. So internal battery, that's how you do it. External battery, you take it out. So I'm unplugged, my battery's unplugged. Now I'm going to flip the computer over and I'm going to release what we call the flea power. It's and like so by holding down the power button for one minute. Now sometimes this resets things and fixes it so you can go ahead and plug in the battery and then you can or and reinstall it if it's an external one and then plug the power cord in try hitting the power button. If it still isn't working the next step we would do is do it again unplug the battery the power cord unplugged, hold down the power button for one minute. What we're doing is using the process of elimination to see what's wrong with your computer. After that one minute, we're going to go ahead and plug just the battery back in and leave the power cord unplugged. We're going to try turning the computer on. If it works with just the battery plugged in and not the power cord, you know it's a power cord issue. If it still doesn't work, then we're going to try a third attempt where we are going to, once again, Unplug the battery. You know the procedure at this point. Hold down the power button for one whole minute. We're going to plug just your power cord in and try to turn on your computer. If it comes back to life, then you know that it's the battery that's causing the problem. It needs to be replaced. That's why it works when the battery is not installed. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.